I was shocked to know that some part of the Pune commune is on the sale. This Osho place is not somebody's individual property or of any trust. Thousands of sannyasins all over the world has contributed financially for this place to develop. And Osho has lived there, he has spoken there for so many years. And the energy field is created there. It is a mystery school created to raise the consciousness of the humanity. It's not the place for the parties, for the industrialists whom they want to sell this place. This place is garden of our beloved master. Selling this place is like you are selling your own soul. It is a precious, priceless place and needs to be expanded, not to make it shrink. Mukesh Sharda, he is saying that this place is in losses. It is because of mishandling of the funds and poor management. Where is Jayesh and Amrito now? They must be somewhere sitting in seven star hotel, enjoying their life with the funds of the trust and just uh, it is their motto to enjoy, drink and make merry. It is all misuse of the funds of the trust. The pollution is these trustees should be thrown out who cannot manage the place. It is time to wake up and it is warning of millions of uh, lovers of Osho to bring the treasure back to India, Osho's paintings, which were cut from his books uh, with the excuse that they want to store them safe somewhere. Nobody knows where are these 900 paintings of Osho. Osho's robes, his sandals, his watches, everything is taken somewhere secretly. Everything goes very secretly here and sannyasins are so gullible, so surrendered, nobody really uh, dare to say anything about it. And with the faith that uh, they must be doing it for some good reason. Lately, I heard from a Japanese that these original paintings, they have printed the copies of the paintings and printed copy of the painting is being sold in Japan for 5 lakhs rupees. And uh, website osho.com, uh, books from the royalties, from the videos, some uh, rights are out of it, um, given away to publishers, taking lump sum money from them. Where this all money is going on? It is all deposited outside of the India in some banks there. And the whole energy is put only in controlling the movement of Osho, controlling the sannyasins, uh, erasing their Facebook, uh, deleting their videos uh, from YouTube, which energy could have been put in creativity, it is all working like a destruction, destroying Osho's work all the time instead of getting his spread. in the name of the copyright. Cases are done on the sannyasins. In France, one sannyasin was translating his books in French language 
and Osho always used to send his blessings to these people to do his work. And in the name of the copyright, he was challenged in the court. And the sannyasin lost the case and all his books were burnt. It is really hurting what is going on when from Delhi, Osho World website was created. They got a notice from America that Osho World is our copyright. You can't use this. And this case went on for years in the American courts. And uh, it is really shameful. In the court, they say that Osho was our employee. And I think judge was more intelligent. Finally, he gave the judgment and Osho World really won the case. And since then, uh, Osho World and people living in Delhi, they say they are our enemies and they are destroying Osho's work. Actually, who is destroying Osho's work? Osho World website make it available free for the whole world. They can download Osho's discourses, whatever they want. And this was the reason because on uh, Osho.com, Puna's website, people have to pay for it. And Swami Atul, who is generous enough, and his only passion is to make Osho available to the whole world. And uh, he has to face so many obstacles. Every time his uh, videos are deleted, his website was closed one time, all kinds of obstacles, whatever they can create, they are creating. So now it is time that uh, we should wake up and raise our voice and uh, really uh, go for it. Everybody should uh, put pressure that you can't sell this property. It is not your personal property. It is not trust property. It is our property. It is every sannyasin's property. And it is a Buddha field. So please stop from selling it. That message needs to be spread all over.